it's December and we are just about to wrap up the year. Thinking we are done, then boom, Vivo launches another device in its Y series. Let's dive right into it, shall we? From TechWiz, I'm Martin Gedenji with a Vivo Y35 unboxing and first impressions review. Let's take it and go. In the box is the phone, SIM ejector 2, documentation, a pair of earphones, type A to type C charging cable, and 44 watt fast charger. Vivo maintains the same build quality as its other Y series phones and uses frosted anti-glare surface on its back that's also fingerprint and scratch resistant. We got our unit in dawn gold color, but you can get it in a get black. Vivo Y35 comes in a flat design for its edges, meaning it can stand on its own. We get the side mounted fingerprint reader embedded on the power button and the volume rockers on the right. Face unlock is also present as another form of biometric. At the top back we have the island that houses the dual camera setup and the LED flash. Coming to the bottom we have the headphone jack, microphone, type-c charging port and speaker grill. At the top is the dual nano SIM card slot with an additional slot for micro SD card. Coming to the front is the 6.58 inch display featuring a notch that hosts the selfie camera. The display rocks full HD resolution at 1080p with 90Hz refresh rate, good for gaming and 550 nits in peak brightness, ideal for multimedia consumption. Vivo Y35 rocks a Snapdragon 680 chipset paired with Android 12 and Funtouch OS 12 at the helm. There's 8GB of RAM and 8GB of virtual RAM coupled with 128GB of onboard storage which can be expanded to 1TB with an external microSD card. Fantouch OS comes with nice software features such as audio booster mode, multi turbo mode 5.5 and ultra game mode optimizing resource scheduling and utilization efficiency to reduce lag, improve system smoothness and improve performance stability especially for gaming. Other features include a nano music player. It's been a pretty flawless experience when it comes to performance with the Vivo Y35. There's nothing we tried to do with the phone that it couldn't take in its stride, which isn't surprising given its hardware and software combination. These specs stand out when you look at the synthetic benchmarks with Antutu reporting and performance number of 291554. For camera, the Vivo Y35 sports a triple array including a 50 megapixels main with a 2 megapixels macro and 2 megapixels depth sensor. For selfies, we have a 16 megapixels front facing camera. Video recording is capped at 1080p 30fps for both front and main cameras. Other features include rear video EIS, bokeh flare portrait and super night mode. The cameras take impressive shots during the day and in low lit scenarios. The pictures are good well detailed, sharp, right color saturation and contrast, perfect for sharing on social media. Its lack of 4K video recording limits its videography, but this is something we've seen with other phones powered by the Snapdragon 680 chipset, which is its main weakness. The Vivo Y35 ships with a 5000mAh battery that supports 44W fast charging, which means you can go from empty to 70% in 34 minutes. The Y35 has a Vivo Energy Guardian feature which preserves battery health by preventing it from charging after reaching full capacity. You can go a day and a half on moderate use and can pull a full day on heavy use. As an entire package, the Vivo Y35 did absolutely everything we wanted from the cameras to the display, the whole design, overall performance and battery endurance. For pricing and availability details, the Vivo Y35 is retailing at 29,999 or 30,000 Kenya shillings and is available at Vivo's official retail stores countrywide and also on online e commerce platforms. What do you think about this phone? Please drop us a comment in the comment section down below as we continue creating more content on your daily consumer tech. Till the next one, we done take it now. You go. <laughs>